The St. Lawrence is a unique and fragile ecosystem that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the heart of the North American continent. It is an ecologically rich environment where numerous human activities take place, and it is home to important habitats for the survival and recovery of various whale species, some of which are threatened or endangered. For these already diminished populations, the loss of a single individual can jeopardize the species' recovery. Marine conservation specialists now face the challenge of balancing whale protection with human activities that pose various threats to them in the estuary. The increase in maritime traffic in the St. Lawrence increases the risk of collisions with marine mammals and contributes to underwater noise. Human-generated underwater noise can have various effects on marine mammals, including increased stress and behavioral changes, such as alterations in feeding patterns. For example, individuals may avoid noisier areas and relocate to quieter zones where food resources may be of lower quality or less abundant. Some high-intensity noises can even lead to hearing loss or cause direct injuries. These noises also affect communication between individuals within the same pod, especially between a mother and her calf. The risk of collision with marine mammals is another danger associated with navigation. In the St. Lawrence, many marine mammals have marks or injuries from encounters with vessels. Scientific studies show that the likelihood of a fatal collision or noise impact increases with the speed and size of the vessels. A vessel traveling at 10 knots, which is 18 kilometers per hour, poses a risk of serious or fatal injury estimated at 31%. At 17 knots, or 31 kilometers per hour, that risk rises to 90%. For this reason, since 2011, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, in collaboration with Parks Canada, co-chairs a working group involving maritime transport stakeholders. This group recommends and proposes measures to slow down commercial vessels and keep them away from important marine mammal habitats to significantly reduce the risk of collisions and limit underwater noise. Recreational boaters and whale watching activities can also disturb marine mammals. Disturbance can occur when noise is generated by a vessel or when it approaches marine mammals too quickly or too closely. This disruption impacts their vital functions such as resting, feeding, socializing or caring for their young. What is special about the estuary is that tourism and recreational activities peak in July and August, which coincides with the beluga calving period. To strengthen their protection, Fisheries and Oceans Canada mandates under the Marine Mammal Regulations and with the exception of certain special permit holders, that all types of vessels in the estuary maintain a minimum distance of 200 meters from whales, dolphins and porpoises. This distance increases to 400 meters for threatened or endangered species, such as the beluga and blue whale. Commercial fishing also presents risks, such as entanglement in fishing gear or reduced quality and abundance of food resources. Entanglement can lead to injuries, infections, or even death in animals. To mitigate these impacts, Fisheries and Oceans Canada works closely with the community on stock assessments, sustainable fishing measures, and raising awareness among fish harvesters. There are also other threats to marine mammals in the St. Lawrence estuary, including pollutants in the marine environment, widespread habitat degradation, and climate change, which impacts various levels, both directly and indirectly. It's the accumulation of these different factors that ultimately affects marine mammals, leading to what we call a cumulative effect. To address these challenges, specialists at Fisheries and Oceans Canada work with partners to collect data on the estuary's habitats and species. This information is used to monitor populations and habitats, plan marine conservation projects, and identify critical habitats for species at risk. All these actions contribute to fostering a more harmonious coexistence between human activities and the marine mammals of the St. Lawrence Estuary. <laughs>